A Detroit hospital has seen an incredible increase in children being diagnosed with diabetes, and it's believed to be tied to those children catching COVID. Thanks for staying with us at 5. I'm Heather Catalo. In Ann Arbor, doctors are urging parents to get their kids vaccinated because they're seeing increased hospitalizations, including children on ventilators. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has more on the pediatric surge. U of M Health says the surge in COVID cases among adults and children is impacting every aspect of clinical care. And then there's the shortage of staffing. We've had 739 employees test positive for COVID-19 since January 1st. Dr. David Miller, president of University of Michigan Health and its colleagues on how COVID, especially the virus's Omicron variant, is stressing their hospitals, including CS Mott Children's, where Dr. Erica Newman is a pediatric surgeon. We have never seen this many children hospitalized hospitalized with COVID-19. We are seeing younger kids and teens with COVID-related respiratory illnesses, pneumonia, and a serious COVID-related complication. It's called myocystic inflammatory syndrome. This morning, there were 11 children hospitalized at Mott with COVID, some on ventilators. As of this morning, um, our cardiac ICU was 100% full, and our pediatric ICU, we had two beds left out of 23. The CDC recently released a study that showed children who recover from COVID-19 appear to have a much higher risk of developing type 1 or type 2 diabetes. Dr. Christopher Blunden is a pediatric endocrinologist at DMC Children's Hospital of Michigan, where he says in the last couple years, they've seen a 67% increase in kids being diagnosed with diabetes. This was previously fairly well described um, in the literature in the adult population, but this is, is really kind of trickling down to the pediatric population and being recognized as not something that's just affecting uh, adults. His advice to parents, minimize the risk of children getting infected by having them wear masks, avoid large crowds, and if old enough, getting vaccinated. Anything that prevents infection is going to be um, the, the way to combat this, this risk at this point in time. Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.